Bro, I ain't put God, bro. Oh, yeah, of course God. He said, bro, he said, <laughs> <laughs> Recently, I got shot. Yeah. Like, last year. We all called him Wop. He looked just like Fetty Wop. Oh, he yeah, had dreads. He was dark, but he was dark skinned. Yeah, yeah. And he only had one eye. Damn. Motherfucker had been shot like 10 times, bro. 10 times? 50 bro, cent? Shit. Bro, more than 50 <laughs> cent. Bro, I got stabbed in the face. I got stabbed in the face. Got in the face. Uh, Damn, you just finna knock the doc out? Yeah. good with you guys we are back with another episode guys another fucking banger right here you guys already know everybody hates jabber season two we streaming live on all platforms so wherever you guys listen to your podcast whether that be apple spotify youtube wherever you guys get it wherever you guys stream it go stream that shit right now we got a banger for you guys today we got my boy here kt chris thompson official you know what i'm saying how you doing today boy how you doing man how you doing man pretty good man pretty good yes sir yes, glad to have you on how was the drive down here bro uh, it was a little cool drive, you know, started a little Subway, got me a little, you know, yeah. pepperoni with the chicken on it, you know. <laughs> hey, okay. Wait, what kind of chicken, though? Like the 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 chicken breast, like, cutlet things, like the little strips or whatever? I forgot, hey, baby, what was it? Was it? Turkey, yeah, yeah, I had turkey, turkey. Oh, it was turkey and pepperoni. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because bro, they used to have this chicken breast, bro. It was mm-hmm. like just like the chicken breast prat- patty. Have you ever had that shit before? I'm gonna. Lie, I'm not a big fan of Subway. Really? Yeah, I used yeah, to yeah. work at Subway, oh, so I used bro. to eat that shit all the time. But <laughs> they fucking did away with it, bro. And like, I don't even like eating it no more. Yeah, really? Yeah, Subway. Yeah, I eat it like here and there. I just <laughs> ate it yesterday. I ain't even gonna lie. I did have oh, that yeah. shit yesterday. Most definitely. On oh, me. <laughs> well, shit, bro. I appreciate you pulling up down here Most today, definitely. man. Thanks for having me. Uh, if you guys don't know, we are filming at uh, Heat for Your Feet today over in norman so shout out to my boy uh cuddy for letting us use the store letting us use the shop so we can set up today and get this pod film make sure that you guys stop by pull up when here in norman right down the street from ou cop some kicks you know what the deal is but anyway man let's just go ahead and dive right on into this shit man mm-hmm. so i know like uh like during the process of getting this shit filmed and stuff you were saying like you had just got your like your wisdom teeth pulled out not that long oh, ago yeah, right most definitely man how was that bro what was that experience like bro i ain't gonna lie it was lucky horrible bro it was bad <laughs> yeah, huh so bro what's crazy is i went up there and they see you know they had put me on the laughing gas and i just passed out yeah that should have just take you out bro. i ain't gonna lie i was, I was vlogging it yeah i don't know why i woke up with like a little attitude or something you yeah know? i don't know why because you know everybody <laughs> Has a different like yeah. attitude with it, you know. Everybody's right. funny, and somebody, yeah. somebody, somebody would trip out. Yeah, but like mine's was more like a trip out. So like how I woke up was, I don't know, I just woke up mad, and then uh, I woke up in the car, and then my girl told me it's like. Oh, they said you was tripping. They said I woke up and like I tried to swing on the doctor. I'm like, what? I Damn, you was finna knock the doctor out? Yeah. Damn. So I guess he had to point me back to sleep. I don't know if he socked the Damn, punch that- me. <laughs> <laughs> you know he put you back to sleep. All right. <laughs> but I woke up and my face was hella fat. You know, what I'm saying? it was yeah. looking like <laughs> unusual. Saying, you're not finna sock me out. It's finna be the other way around. Man, of- <laughs> they said he ain't gonna remember this. <laughs> <laughs> he said you're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny, bro. I got. I got my shit pulled out like probably about a year and a half, two years ago, bro. bro. That shit was hands down one of the worst experiences, bro. It was oh, the yeah. after though, like oh, after, during yeah. it, like it wasn't all that bad. And then after, and then like whenever they pulled them out, they still had like a little piece of like tooth that was in there, mm-hmm. and Ooh. so it was just like rubbing on my tongue, like it was like the tiniest little piece of tooth. Damn. And like they were telling me at first, they're like, "Oh no, it's probably just one of your stitches," and I'm yeah. like. No, this is a fucking piece of tooth. Like, so then I had to go in the next day, and then they had to shave it down, and fucking get it off there, yeah. bro. But the worst part was like not being able to eat. Bro. So, uh, did they put like cotton in your mouth? Yeah. So it's crazy. They didn't put cotton in my mouth. You didn't have nothing in there. Nothing in there, bro. What the fuck? I I have sooner care to insurance. Y'all don't uh, don't go to sooner care, man. Yeah, don't go horrible. to sooner care. <laughs> I did have job insurance. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That time. probably definitely um, came me. in clutch. Yeah, huh? me did. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, that shit was bad, bro. And like, I'm uh-huh. an eater, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I couldn't like stand not being able to eat, like eating applesauce and fucking oh uh, yeah bullshit. Bro, you know what I mean? My girl literally took me to like a restaurant, bro. I had to ask for eggs and the yogurt, bro. <laughs> like, what? Okay. I mean, no shade here, but why take you to a restaurant, though? I don't know. Just, she was trying to eat. She yeah, was like, she was I don't care about eat, this like, motherfucker you know shit. I'm trying to eat. I can eat. She was with her little brother, too, and he was like, hey, slide, slide. So <laughs> I, this is a ski mask. So I had to wear the ski mask. So I was trying to show my full face. And she, I was like... <laughs> 
<laughs> Look, I'm gonna rob the restaurant. Oh, me. <laughs> that is funny, bro. Yeah. And then on top of that, I don't know. Do you smoke or not? I don't know if you smoke. No, nah, uh, I used to smoke, but I recently just slowed down on it uh, oh, okay. because I feel like uh, it's like when you keep on doing it for so long, it's like the same feeling. Like you don't really, yeah. feel, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I ain't gonna lie. I like drink here and there. Though. I'll be getting lit. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I couldn't smoke during it, bro. So I was oh, yeah. like, fuck, man. Like, well, I wasn't supposed to smoke. I ain't gonna lie, I smoke during it. I still smoke, bro. I ain't bro. gonna lie. I was, yeah, I was I be, doing I be, it lightly, I but there, I, ain't gonna I still lie. smoke. I ain't gonna lie. Cause I'm like, I gotta get high, bro. My yeah, fucking teeth hurt and shit, nigga. So what's crazy high. was I was like lit one day, right? Yeah. Off the wisdom teeth. Yeah. And then I got Taco Bell. I think it was like the third day, second day. And guess really? what? I I was like, my girl's like, don't eat that. I was like, what if it's my last day, last meal? I had yeah. to eat something. You gonna eat it, right? I mean, if it, if you knew it was your last meal, then yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I just, I just had it in my mind. So I was just eating. I ain't gonna lie. That's a morbid way of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> what if this is my last meal, baby? That's what I'm saying, bro. I, had a cr- I, can't, I might never get another one after this. Bro, I cannot just eat yogurt, bro. Like, I don't, bro. Hey, yeah, that so, shit was not good, that's bro. What I was saying. Was have you ever had any? It. Have you ever had any major surgeries before this? Uh, nah. I actually, I didn't go to surgery. So recently, I got shot. Yeah, like, last year. Yeah. So how that happened was I went to Dallas. I went to Dallas. Uh, I was chilling down there. Yeah. And then I was with my homies and shit. And we go out. We meet some people. And then it was like, hey, I know this little spot that, like, allowed 18-year-olds to get in. I uh-huh. was 18 at the time. Uh-huh. So, boom. They did. They said that. So it was like, okay. And they said like, they said they served lobster and shit. So, like, they yeah. trying to get us intrigued to it. So, boom, we was intrigued. So we slide to it. Boom. So I'm up there, like, the whole night. Yeah. So, boom. Uh, five o'clock come is when, it, you know, it closed. Yeah. So I'm outside. I walk outside, and there's security. Security guard. I was just chopping it up because me, I, I talk to people, you know. Yeah. So, boom, I was chopping it up with them. And next thing you know, I hear a skirt. Bah, bah. But I ain't going to lie, I was lit as hell. So I think it's a fireworks. My dumb ass. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they see, you know, I look down my leg because my leg felt hella numb. I was like, shit, B- blood gushing and shit. So I had I, I had bounced to the corner like with one leg, and I had fell. I'm like, oh, I got shot, and I had made a little video on it. I posted like on TikTok. I, I did see the video. Yeah, I did see that. Because <laughs> what's crazy was I was vlogging right before it. Yeah, but I didn't vlog during it, but it was just crazy how I was vlogging already. Yeah, and then that happened. So yeah. I was like, oh, I might as well add it to the might vlog. Might as well add it to the saying? vlog. That, I mean, that definitely adds some content. That's you know what I'm saying. That's some what substance I'm saying. to the like, vlog you know, right you there. Know, I didn't wish it turned out that way, but shot. you know, Damn, that's crazy, bro. Man. That is crazy. So like, whenever that that happened, like that initial, like you didn't even feel it, huh? So what happened? Uh, you just kind of like what? What did you feel first? Did you see the blood first, or did you feel the pain first? So at first I felt the numb. I felt the pain first. Yeah, it started feeling numb, and then I had no I got shot. Yeah, and I, you know I started like feeling pain. I was like, damn. Yeah, cause yeah. I got stabbed in the face. You got stabbed in the face. I got stabbed in the face. Oh, you can kind of see it like right there and shit. Damn. It's a long story, but basically like I had gotten a fight with this guy was basically beating him up um, and was getting pulled off of him. Uh-huh. And as I was getting pulled off, he was like, at first he was kind of in the fetal position. Mm-hmm. And then so like he just kind of came up and like had a knife in his hand uh-huh. and just fucking threw his fucking hand back, bro. Like, I mean, it was just the luckiest shit ever. Like, I'm uh-huh. literally getting pulled off the guy and then like his you hand You gotta just definitely beat his ass after that, huh? Type shit, but I mean, not <laughs> also shit. not really because I didn't know that I got stabbed. Because oh, you know that's the adrenaline. Yeah, bro, the adrenaline you know, was you know rushing saying? so yeah, much. Yeah. I didn't know that I got stabbed. Like yeah. it felt like his hand just kind of like barely hit me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like pussy. You know what I mean? I was like <laughs> 17. You know what I mean? Yeah, 17, yeah, yeah. 18. Mm-hmm. So then I like I'm leaving out of the house. I'm walking out of the house, and next mm-hmm. thing you know, like I can see from the corner of my eye, like pss, 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 just like little Damn, spurts just, of blood, and I'm like. I'm what the fuck? Cut the eye though, man. No, shit, bro, like, right it's there, like right huh? there in my temple, yeah, bro. I'm like, saying, bro. A, cut an inch up, it probably would have been in my temple. Yeah, like, I could have died, bro. Like, be, yeah, this yeah. shit would have been bad, bro. Man. But, yeah, I just fucking, like, the blood started squirting. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, what the fuck? And I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, and no kidding, bro. <laughs> like, crazy. literally, right as I'm running outside, uh-huh. a police officer just so happens to be driving down the street. Mm. And I'm just like, I'm like, I flagged him down, bro. Because yeah, I'm like, yo, yeah, nigga, I need help. Hurt, nigga, you know I got stabbed in the face. Nigga, I need man, help. Hey, man, get the ammo help, me, please, you know help me. Help hey, me. That shit was crazy, bro. It was a crazy ass shit, shit bro. Yeah, but I believe I just shit. wanted to know, like, if you felt like the the blood for, or the pain first or the blood, but you felt the pain first, huh? Definitely. 
felt the pain first. Yeah. But like the it pain was, afterwards, probably like, yeah, way afterwards worse though, huh? way worse. But yeah. you know, like you, something similar to your like the adrenaline rush, yeah. and like you like yeah. so like you know so much going on. But yeah. yeah, yeah, that shit was crazy though. You know, definitely a little crazy experience I ever had in my life. I what do you lie. think you learned from that? So what I learned from that, uh, so I don't really go out as I used to. Like yeah. I used to be going out. Like I'll, I'm the party type. Like, yeah, I'll be going out, staying out. After that happened, I just like be in the house, and if I do go out, I won't stay out as for as long. And it definitely had me like more aware of my surroundings and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, I was already aware, but like I became very more vigilant with my yeah. surroundings because yeah. like, yeah, that definitely, that definitely would fuck with you. Definitely had PTSD. Yeah. For like, sure. I went to like a party, and they had a little thing to pop. Uh-huh. I started ducking and bro, shit. Started like, ducking. <laughs> hey, everybody, get down. Get down, yo. I'm get like, down. bro, like, you know what I'm saying? I went to the front of that. If I were, I'm thinking it's good. <laughs> <laughs> they shooting you, too? God damn. That shit really go fucked with you, bro. That Don't PTSD be. is a real thing, That's bro, facts. for no, sure. One of, my, um, one of my good friends, I used to go to Job Corps back in the day. Mm-hmm. And one of my good friends from there, he was telling me about that too, because they called, we all called him Wop. He looked just like Fetty Wop. Oh, he yeah, had dreads, he was dark, but he was dark skinned. Yeah, yeah, and he yeah. only had one eye. Damn. Motherfucker had been shot like 10 times, bro. 10 times, 50 bro, cent, shit. Bro, more than 50 <laughs> cent, bro. Like literally, and this is like some shit. Like, I mean, you hear about somebody getting shot once, you know what I'm saying? You're like, mm-hmm. okay, you know what I'm saying? Lots of people get shot. But you hear about people getting shot 10 times, more than likely, you like, Dead, nigga, like, you lying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. More nigga, you lying. You know what I'm saying? You ain't yeah. been shot in 10 times. This yeah. nigga would be like, bro, I got every fucking wound to prove it. Like, mm. and like, he, would, he was like, you wanna see him? And me, I'm like, hell yeah, I do. Like, yeah, he yeah, just starts pointing them out, it. bro. Damn. Pointing them out all over. There's maybe like three bullet hoes that he was like, I got a couple others, but I ain't showing you them. Oh, yeah, and I'm like, true. yeah, I don't want to see them. <laughs> <laughs> but the nigga literally only had one eye, bro. Like mm. one of the times he got shot was right there, bro. Like, and it was just crazy. Like he was telling me about like that same, that same feeling of having like that PTSD and shit. Mm-hmm. And just like anytime there's loud noises, he's yeah, always he's, ducking yeah, and yeah, looking and shit. Saying. And I'm yeah. like, that's got to be a, a kind of a hard feeling to even have to live with, you know, especially mm-hmm. like for someone that was like, in your situation where you were just out and about having fun you know mm-hmm. what i mean it's not like you were out there yeah, like on some hot shit on some like, hot you know shit you know what i mean like, yeah. like you got what you deserved almost yeah, i mean nobody deserves to get yeah, shot nobody, but no, no. i mean you play with fire you get burnt right yeah, you know what i'm saying, saying so yeah. it's not like you was out there playing with fire you was just mm-hmm. having, having a good, good time, time. Yeah, yeah. that shit crazy that shit bro. is crazy that shit mad crazy that shit man so uh back into into what we were talking about earlier like if you could describe yourself right and and like one like kind of phrase right like what would that description look like for you just like me as a like a whole like yeah the type of person i am stuff yeah. like that i say i'm i'm a authentic person authentic huh yeah okay okay let's like keep it real you yeah know what i'm saying yeah uh i really hate fuck i hate the fake love bro. yeah like, i i want all fake love to be yeah not a part with me at all you know yeah. what i'm saying and then it's a that's a hard thing to be in today's time you know what mm, i mean like most definitely. It, it, they make it a lot easier to be fake than they do mm, to be real most you know definitely, most you get definitely. way more hate being fucking real than you do mm. whenever you just follow the trends and mm. keep up with the joneses that's and do what, what they want you to do you mm. know what i mean how do you how do you keep that same attitude with in today's time whenever people are so i mean honestly i can really feel it you yeah. know what i'm saying like, you, you you can feel some shit too For you sure. know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. like you know you can feel it from anybody like because I feel like everybody got flaws, you yeah, know? Yeah, for sure. And if they for don't sure. show it, it'll be coming. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, hell yeah, that people, yeah, man, that shit, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do, I like what you said about, like, feeling it, you know? Because one yeah. thing that I will say about you, and I've even told my girl this a couple of times that I really give you a lot of credit on, is just, like, how basically how real you are you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. and just like how nice you are like you Mm -hmm. know like i've done a lot of podcasts with a lot of people that have big followings you know what i mean none of them have been as nice as you you know what i mean Mm -hmm. like just from like even before the pod like before i even asked you to be on the pod you know it's just someone that seen it you'd come in at 10 toes you shake my hand you say what's up hey i seen the last episode i see you liking the reels you know Mm -hmm. what i'm saying and stuff like that comment and i'm like damn that's hella that's hella chill that like Bro sees, you know what I'm saying? Just the fact that, like, I'm just starting, you know what I'm saying? And, Most like, definitely. you still show love even without, you know what I'm saying, not necessarily been, because you hadn't been on the pod until now, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But you were still showing love. Like, I've had people that, like, are, that do have bigger accounts that, like, they get on the pod and then, like, after that, there's just no more interaction, you know what I mean? Mm. So I'm just like, damn, you know, that that kind of sucks, you know? But I just feel like, you know, if you see, like, somebody, like, doing something, Support them to the fullest. Cause yeah. you got most people out here that just support artists that don't even yeah. know them. Yeah. Support yeah. anybody that don't even know them. But somebody that's there by like locally, 
you know, they just like you. They just they they started up from a point of, point in time. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? You started up a point in time too. So you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I feel like it all is all about support. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Support can go long ways for sure. Facts, bro. And I feel like you can do so much more. Like by supporting people, like people will support you. You know most what I mean? Like, and if they see that you support people, then there might be other big people that come and like might support you. You most know what I mean? Like, it's a reason why Drake is so respected in the game, you know what I mean? Mm. Because he's the type of person that has used his platform to put on put other on people, people that, you know artists, what I'm saying, yeah. ain't really was shit, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. before they got that Drake feature. Man. They got that Drake feature and the price Going went up, crazy. you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So, like, and he's the type of person that'll do that just off the love, mm -hmm. you know? Ain't no one have to do that. He'll just do it off the love. Or just off sure. the love, yeah. you know? And that's the shit that I fuck with because especially, like, with us people of color, bro. Like That's we can get so much fucking further by supporting each other Man. than a lot of times we do by throwing hate on each other. Yeah, because you know like I don't, I don't get how people say like Black Lives Matter, but then they're gonna hate like on another black person. I yeah. like, wanna kill a black person. I wanna do yeah. harm to the person. Yeah. Cause I feel like if you say Black Lives Matter, then you gotta support the people. You know Type what I'm saying? Shit, you can't yeah. say it without supporting the people. Without supporting, yeah. Yeah, on most me. definitely. On me. Uh damn man. All right, all right. So what, <laughs> for you man, like what what kind of got you into into creating content? So honestly, at first I was rapping. Okay. And I had a homie named Todd, the one you brought to the pod. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Todd. Yeah. Uh, which one call it? He had he had put me on. He was doing TikTok, no, musically back in the day. Uh-huh. And then he just like, "Hey, KT should do this show." I was like, hey, I said, I don't know, but I'll, I'll try it. Yeah. And then uh, I was doing like, you know, you know, 2019, 2018 era of like that TikTok where yeah. everybody was like lip syncing and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I was on that way. Oh, you was doing that? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I was doing that shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I was doing that shit. Hey, man. but look, you doing that shit then uh -huh. helped you, you know what I'm saying, get yeah. in that algorithm early. You know what I'm saying? Most Help. definitely. I, I wasn't on TikTok. Yeah. I was like looking at people like, that's corny. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's corny. And now, <laughs> now here I am years later, like, yeah. bro, I wish I would have been doing that shit, bro. Mm -hmm. I would have had my foot in the door doing that shit. That's you know what, what I mean? Hell so, yeah. respect to you for doing that. Yeah, but that is definitely. funny, it's though, bro, because I did used to look at you like, ah, look at that cornball ass nigga. <laughs> yeah. But, like, you know, people used to look at it like that, but yeah. I feel like, like, damn, like, they attracting this many people though, yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Like, millions of people get hundreds of thousands of likes you know yeah. that's a lot of people yeah facts. you know what i'm saying yeah so i ain't really corny but i understand what yeah. you no said. it's yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. not corny yeah not, i understand because you say yeah. you like you got, you got a different perspective yeah now yeah at that you, time you know, you know what i'm saying yeah, i mean like, i just looked at it like tiktok yeah. it was mainly just tiktok too like mm. the tiktok dances and shit mm -hmm. i'm like that shit's corny like i'm not doing that shit mm -hmm. like and then like i realized you know what i'm saying too late but i finally did realize and i'm like damn them niggas wasn't corny like they was ahead of the time ahead you know what i'm time, saying like the they was getting it in when the goal, getting was good you know what i mean it, it so it, yeah. respect to that for sure oh, yeah for most sure. definitely most definitely uh so you said that you was rapping before that though yeah what was your rapper name Young KT. Young KT. Yeah. I, used, I used to rap too. <laughs> For real? Yeah, Jay Breezy. Jay Breezy? Yeah, Jay Breezy. <laughs> How old was you when you made your first song? I think I was like 14. So, like, what inspired me, me was uh, my older brother, he was like, he'd be in the poetry. Like, yeah. I'll just see him, like, just write mm. and write and write. So, I'm like, okay. You know, I'm young and shit. Yeah. You know, when you ain't got all that energy and shit. Yeah, you know, know what I'm talking about? me. So, I was like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try this shit out. So, boom, try it out. People said they fuck with it and shit, so like, okay, I dropped a few songs and shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But then uh, I had, like, legal troubles and shit, so that, like, you know, yeah. separated me, having a lot of time being wasted. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. uh, the recent time I got out, I, I was the best, but I was trying to do some, and then I, uh, one day I was just like, hey, I want to do social media. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had put all my time into it. And I say about a month, I'm seeing hella progress. Got posted on World Star. Mm -hmm. Videos going crazy, millions of views. And what's crazy was after that, I got shot. So I'm like, damn. Damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But with that happening, it's just like, it's just showing me like, wherever you, wherever you got something can happen. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah. you always stay humble. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. Every single day. And I always appreciate what you have. Yeah. Because you never know what you have until it's gone. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. For sure. Man, that, uh, <laughs> can you, can you, you gonna rap for me today, bro? You gonna spill something? I spill a little stuff, man. You gonna hop with me, man? Jay Breezy? Y'all <laughs> hey, don't wanna see Jay Breezy come out of retirement, but. Come on, hey. I can spill a few little balls, man. I, I, I do charge for features, though, so. For real? Yeah. 100K? So, 
<laughs> I mean, if if you, I mean, since you did the pod for me, like I, I could do a hundred k. Since you did the pod, you know, so I got you on a hundred k feature. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, I'm just playing. Yeah, but nah, yeah. uh, fucking damn, man. Uh, so, what would you be doing? Do you think if you weren't doing content? Like do you I think see. you'd be still doing rapping, or or do you think it'd be something else? Most definitely, I feel like I'll still be rapping. Do you think it's easier to be a rapper or a content creator? I say, not both of them is the same, but I feel like the same attitude you should have with anything should be easy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. As far as grinding, as far as putting effort into it. Yeah, but I say. Rapping, because all you got to do is just write and just, like, go to the studio. But, like, content, though, it comes with, like, confidence, like, hella, like, yeah. just walking up to random people. Because yeah. you don't know how people going to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People could trip out. Yeah. I had hella people. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You had people say no. And, yeah. you know, some people, they don't like rejection. Like, some yeah. people, oh, I hear no, and they'll probably, oh, fuck this shit. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. So, yeah, I say definitely rap because you get a piece of paper, right? You know what I'm saying? You really got to talk to nobody but talk to the mic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What about, like, when it comes to shows, though? Like, having to perform. Oh, yeah, when the shows. Oh, yeah. That's, that's fun, definitely, you know that I mean? definitely play a part. Because yeah, I definitely. feel like I, yeah. I agree with you, like, where a lot of times it feel like it not necessarily be easy to be a rapper. But, yeah. like you said, you don't really have to deal with a lot of, like, in front of people, you know what I'm saying, yeah, interactions. Yeah. But mm-hmm. being on stage, oh, like, yeah, that's, 30,000 that people. That definitely right comes there. out with confidence. But I was talking about the beginning. Wise, the, yeah. But, yeah. like, if you're talking about, like, big, I say... Yeah, you definitely got to have hella confidence, bro. Because, yeah. like, a lot yeah. of people in front of you, bro, can definitely, like, okay, make you a little shy, a little nervous and yeah. shit. But I feel like anything that's uncomfortable should be good. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you don't want to be comfortable at all with right. anything you're trying to do new. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So got to keep that going and make it happen. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So speaking of, like, beginnings and stuff, like, what was that beginning like for you, like, in that first stage whenever you were first, you know what I'm saying, grinding and stuff and first coming up, you know? So when I first coming up, uh, I was really just doing, like, multiple, like, videos. Like, I yeah. was just asking people hella questions. Yeah. Like, I was doing, like, kiss and slaps or, yeah. like, what do you do for a living or just, like, shit like that. And then I come across this, like, first relationship at Willing Hills Mall. Uh-huh. First video I ever made with the relationship, and boom, it go viral. Yeah. So I was like, okay, they like this shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So kept that going. Boom, another one viral. Boom, another yeah. one viral. Boom, another one viral. I was like, damn, they really like this shit. So I just kept it going and shit. And then boom, I got posted on World Star. Funny Mike posted my shit. Before no those like my shit. before those like videos like actually did go viral like whenever you had the ones that maybe weren't doing as best like what was the feedback like on those? The feedback on yeah. the relationship? Or no, like other be- videos? Yeah, before the relationship, like before they actually started going viral. Honestly, um, so I was eighteen and I I was finna work at Lowe's, right? Uh huh. I'm gonna tell you a little story time. So I was finna get I was finna start working at Lowe's. And then I had orientation. Okay. So, boom, I'm on my phone at orientation. I get fired at orientation. I didn't even start the job yet. Bro got fired at orientation. It's crazy. I got fired at orientation. I'm clipping the fuck out of that <laughs> shit, bro. I'm <laughs> clipping the hell out of that shit. And then I made a video after that. Uh-huh. I was like, damn, I really got fired at orientation. <laughs> And girls started tripping and shit. I don't know why she started tripping. I was on my phone, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was cause you, you know when you're on orientation, you see all these videos that like, you know already know, but like you know what I'm saying, you're gonna ask later on like what to do, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because yeah. me, I'm more of a visual learner, you know what I'm saying? You. So boom, that happened. Made the video. I was like, hey man. I had to talk to my cousin, man. Shout out to Real Quality, man. Graphic designer, photographer, anything you need, shout out to him. So I talked to him. And I was just, I was like, hey, man. Because I, I I got interviewed at this radio station. This one, I was mm-hmm. like, first time rapping. Mm-hmm. But now I was doing, like, I just, in the beginning of, like, when I tried to do, like, interviews and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I was talking to him. I was like, hey, man. I really want this shit bad, bro. And he was like, hey, man, we're going to get it. So I was like, all right, bet. So, boom. Bro picking me up. I didn't have a car at the time. He just helped me out, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I fuck with Cuzzo so hard. He always been looking out for me, bro. Yeah. It's one person I always have, you know what I'm saying, for sure. But, yeah, he's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's like hey, let's get it in. Let's get this content. Boom, boom, boom. And it's like the video starts showing results, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. just like, it's just a good feeling for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I know for me, bro, like, 
they be roasting my ass in them YouTube comments, bro. Mm. They be coming for me, bro. Everywhere else, bro, it's like they be showing love. But YouTube, bro, they be tearing me so up, it's bro. Crazy I be as dying well. laughing, Listen, bro. if you think it's something now, picture the more biggie. Yeah, but I honestly, I, I I find it honestly funny. It's like, fine, yeah, I find it, it funny amuses too. the shit out of me because mm-hmm. I'm just like, damn, bro. Like, I could just imagine this dude right now, like, mm-hmm. sitting at his, at his house, bro, on his phone, like, you fucking stupid little shin of a like shit. You you don't, and I'm yeah, just like, yeah. like thinking about that, like him actually doing that. It, yeah. it makes me laugh because I'm like, damn, bro, like that shit really made them feel that type that that that's much. Like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? saying? That they yeah. like actually commented. I find it funny, but mm-hmm. do you like? Are you the type of person that pays attention to your comments at all? I ain't gonna lie. I don't really pay too much mind into yeah. it. I don't really look at my comments like that. I don't yeah. look at it like here and there. But I only hey, get like funny. six comments. So yeah, I, I entertain them, you know. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you know I don't want to pay too much attention to it. Yeah. You know, I, I got to put more content out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't, yeah. You know, want to be too criticized by now? What the hell? You, you know, know what I'm saying? Because you know people be talking that shit. They do. You know bro. what I'm saying? Like they be talking that cash they be talking shit, that bro. Shit, bro. Like, that shit is funny. So I don't really pay no mind to it though. To be honest though, what would you say uh, motivates you to keep being consistent though? I just, you know, so I was, there was this one person, I had a therapist at a point in time, mm-hmm. and I was, that, that helped me a lot, mm-hmm. and I was, I had it gotten this mindset, as I'm talking to her, I said, tomorrow I ain't promise, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, tomorrow I ain't promise, so go all in and all out, Yeah. you know what I'm saying, before the day gone, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What did what would you do? What would you be known for when you're gone? Right. You know what I'm saying? Did Touch you help it. people out? Was he real to people? Was he genuine with people? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Did you motivate people to do this, do the right thing? You know what I'm saying? So that that definitely plays a like a huge part, like in my mind, yeah. my state right now. And you know what I'm saying? As far as like my like future family too, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, back then. I mean, like, I mean in the future they're gonna look back then like it's this probably like, oh he was like this and the more he grew and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah. It's definitely going to be uh, something that involves my journey for sure. For sure, for sure. So, how would you did you do you think like therapy? Uh, how did that help you? It definitely helped my mind state because I ain't gonna lie. Back then, when I was a teenager, I was a dumbass. Yeah. How? <laughs> how so? I was just bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I used to be fucking like, I used to be a thief back then, bro. Yeah, yeah. But I wouldn't like. Needed. I was just doing shit, bro. I ain't just going, doing stupid just shit. Doing stupid ass shit. Bro. I mean, that's what we do as kids. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm not all kids. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of kids. You know what I'm saying? Especially, I was like a huge thief, but I would like fucking like steal cars and shit, like yeah, and shit. Yeah. yeah, that's what I used to do. And I mean, like for kids like us that like a lot of times don't have shit else to do. You know what I mean? Like except hang around with the bad influences that yeah, we're around. Like, yeah. you just do shit, you know? I was the same way, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I did a whole bunch of stuff, like, mm-hmm. from stealing to fucking playing with guns to yeah, selling saying. stuff, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, all type of stuff, you know? I mean, nothing like, I never really got too crazy in anything, you know? But mm-hmm. you did it all, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, and it just, it, 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 you're right when it, like it just kind of puts you in a bad mindset you bad know what mindset, i mean like because yeah. you start thinking more like that you know like how can i get the next one you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. so i i uh i yeah. ended up doing some therapy too like as a kid and i felt mm-hmm. like when i first went i was like man fuck i don't, don't want to talk bro. to nobody <laughs> like this therapist ain't like therapy <laughs> don't mean said. shit yeah, you know yeah, what i yeah, mean yeah. so i went in there kind of with like the mindset of just like being stupid you know like the therapist would be like they'd be like do you smoke i'd be like oh yeah i smoke a lot Mm. And they be like, how much do you smoke? And I'm like, oh, I probably smoke like an ounce a day or something. Yeah. Nigga couldn't afford no fucking But at the same day, time, you know? like, like, I feel like a therapist could help, but they got to be a real professional because like, yeah. a therapist could be fucking up with their life. You don't know what they be doing. I, Type I, I shit. Saw it. Yeah. But like, you know what I'm saying? If you truly need it, like, I, put, I prefer it. But like, now I don't be going to no therapist because, you know, yeah. you got to handle like, what you got to handle. Yeah. Shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I want to go to therapy. You want to go to therapy? Yeah. For sure. That can It'd be good to vent. I mean, my girl be getting on my nerves. I be bro. going to vent to somebody about yeah, it. Girls be do definitely be tripping, bro. Yeah, bro, don't yeah. get no girlfriend, bro. Look, you have this side eye right now. <laughs> 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 like, shit, both work. Shit, they don't no. get smacked on the spot. <laughs> right, right. No, but speaking of that, so like. You are, you do kind of make like some crazier content sometimes, right? Like, oh, hell yeah. does that ever like kind of get you in trouble a little bit, yeah. or does it mean. get you like like you be getting the side eye sometimes when you be like making videos and stuff? Oh yeah, definitely. Like when I approach girls for some yeah. content, yeah, girl be like, 
Just give me that look. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she ain't gonna say nothing. Now. Yeah. Girls are tight. They'll hold on to some. Yeah, type shit. Say it like later yeah. on. But I think the thing about it is, you know, like <laughs> you can't just do males, bro. Like it, it's just not That's gonna work, it's not bro. Gonna work. It's not you gonna have work. Both you gotta have both genders. Yeah. Like you gotta have birth perspective because there's like the world is half male, half female. Like if you're only getting reached to the half the population, you know what I'm saying? Like mm. half those people aren't even going to like you. And then right. the other half of those are just going to be hating. You know what I'm saying? So you really only getting like a fourth, you know, like right. if right. you're not reaching out to like that other half of the people that like mm -hmm. girls find shit funny too, you know what I mean? That's like they want to see yeah. that shit too. Mm -hmm. Like they want to laugh. They want to have a good time. Right. I feel like sometimes, it can be a little bit like hard, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like to saying. deal and balance those both things. Exactly. But I think that the the key though is, you know what I'm saying, just having that communication open, you know. Oh what yeah, I mean? most just definitely. Yeah. Having that understanding, like, you know, look, this is just Content. purely for entertainment. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's it, you know. Yeah, what I mean? so. that's it. At the end of the day, it's not like I'm going like sleep with them after. So. Yeah. yeah. So, you know <laughs> I'm just messing, I'm just messing, I'm just messing, I'm just messing. <laughs> she look at you crazy, bro. I mean, I'm like, like, not saying that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so sometimes, all right, I'm gonna say this, bro. Uh huh. I don't listen. want you to get like offended. You know what I'm saying? Because no, it, it's good. not you. You know I'll what I'm saying? I'll never get offended. Good. But Speaking sometimes, though, uh huh. I feel like I see you hanging in with some kind of mm. questionable characters, right? Who me? Yeah. Who? I'm not gonna say. I, we could talk. I could tell you like who after the pod, but I don't. Yeah. I don't even know them honestly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but like, do you feel like you sometimes still have some of those negative influences that kind of hang on to you or really want to be, be around like, you? Hanging out with nobody like yeah. that. I really yeah. just be with my girl to be honest. I got you. you do see me with someone, it's just for content. Yeah. Okay. Uh, record. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because my I, girl, I, I do think that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> it was some content stuff that y'all yeah, were doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I do remember like thinking too. I remember going home and I'm like, Yeah, I was like, I seen bro with uh, that dude. I was telling you about that. I didn't really like fuck with or whatever. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a little bit you know different. And I was like, man. I was like, but I also reminded her, you know, and I went back to the comp, like, but I'm like, but damn, he's just not like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he's not that type of person, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to let it affect me on, like, the pod and stuff, but I'm mm -hmm. like, I was kind of like, I didn't expect him to be with him, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I get, like, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to know, like, if that's still something that you sometimes still struggle with, if, mm -hmm. you know, like, because it's hard to let go of some friends, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes it is. No, I, I let go of a lot, everybody. Yeah, you that's know good. What yeah, that's oh, good. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. good. Yeah. And if I would do be with some it would be some content. Just some content. I don't be on no dumb shit. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that even doing just content with some people can sometimes get you in trouble? It can, it can, depending on what they're doing, but yeah. hey, I feel like, you know, it got to be quick on it, like. Okay. Like, not even about, like, get me in trouble, but, like, as like anybody that's with somebody and they yeah. feel like they're gonna get them in trouble then move around yeah. you know what i'm saying you don't yeah. need to be around yeah. for sure yeah for sure. so what is your friend group like now compared to like your friend group like when it was whenever you were doing the stupid stuff and like you know into the trouble and stuff you know honestly like what are the differences in in, in your friends i don't be around nobody yeah i really don't and you don't hang out with nobody I'm a, I'll be lonely, bro. Because I, I feel the same way, bro. Girl. Like, I don't hang out with a lot of people, but well, I got, like, two friends. Girl, so, you know yeah, I'm saying, I still got, time. like, one or two friends that I'll go kick it with from yeah, time I, to time, yeah, you time know? Time to time, but I'll just, I'll just be yeah. chilling, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I know, like, most of the friends that I had back then, like, they're in prison now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I got one, one of my best friends, like, he's in prison for murder or attempted murder mm -hmm. one of my old roommates he's in prison for murder mm -hmm. so like i got a few you know what i'm saying of like old close friends you know what i'm saying but like their mindsets never change you know what i mean and like eventually it started me like having to realize that and then going to like the friends that like now the friends that i have mm -hmm. they all got jobs they got families you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. it's just like so i was just kind of curious like the people that you do hang out with whenever you do hang out with people like mm -hmm. what are they like compared to like the people that you hung out with back then you know because they're like two totally different sets mm -hmm. of people now, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get For what me. you're saying. Yeah, about that. Yeah, I got some friends that, like you said, like the yeah. mindsets don't change and they just yeah. stay like that. Cause I feel like when you're younger, okay it's, okay, it's not okay, but like it's like a leeway. Like, okay. Oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? But when you, you get might older. Might as well do it then. You yeah, know you know what I'm saying? saying? When you get older, then it's no excuse. Like, yeah. Yo, yeah. You, you know what's right from wrong. For sure. You know what I'm For saying? Sure. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really just. 
I ain't gonna lie, should be on my lonely shit, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't really be hanging out with nobody, bro. <laughs> so I hang back out with somebody in- be my cousin. Uh, yeah. Or be like, uh, consecrators, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, that's the thing, too. A lot of times now, like, I spend way more time with my family yeah. than I do with my friends. Like, my, I've learned, like, like my cousins are a lot cooler mm-hmm. than most of my friends ever were. Most you know what I mean? What, when you think about it, what's life all about? Family. And what else? Money. Pussy. Money weed. Brian put God, bro. Oh, yeah, of course God. He said, bro, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Can't forget bro, about my God, auntie man. Seen this, bro. She that, bro. <laughs> come on, man. I don't know. I don't know I'm, bro. Thinking I fa- I'm thinking <laughs> God will come out of the family. I bro, <laughs> I bro about like, the Lord. How you, gonna, how you gonna think about the Lord, man? I love you, Jesus. I swear I do. I promise. I, I love the Lord. No, that's now. all good. I man. forgot about the Lord, though. The Lord, don't forget about me, though. I'm gonna have to pray after that one. You yeah, got me. Yeah, there. I got you there. You got me on that one. Man. I'm, a, I'm cutting that part out. I don't never cut <laughs> no, out the parts you, of the pot. That part getting cut out. No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's funny though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, most definitely, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For sure, for sure. All but right. yeah, I mean, dang, now I feel like I gotta say God. Yeah, that's all Let's saying. backtrack real quick. Ask me that, that question again. What, what uh what <laughs> how would I say hold up? What matters to you in life? Man, I, I would say, man, probably like God first, mm-hmm. you know what I'm oh, saying? You gotta yeah. keep God at the top of mm-hmm. everything, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? We wouldn't be here without the Lord. That's you know what I'm saying? saying? Facts, so you got to keep God number one, mm-hmm. then family, then mm-hmm. pussy money week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's this guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> the girl looking at you right now. <laughs> Don't get in trouble, oh, man. man. I'm the pod, man. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, so back to the, back to the, the content, man. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So the one thing I've noticed about you is uh, you've had a lot of different ideas, like you were talking about earlier, mm-hmm. that, you, that you've done. And you've had a lot of different ones, like, kind of go viral, you know, between, like, truth or dares yeah, truth and the relationship or tests, or tests or and, yeah. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, like, what kind of, like, which one has been your favorite to do? So, honestly... I would like keep doing relationships though, but like, what's crazy is though, you know, as you probably seen, like they got millions of views. Yeah. So with that attention on me, yeah, it's just like if I walk up to a relationship, they go nine times out of ten know who I am yeah. and know what I'm doing. Yeah. If oh no, I ain't interested. Yeah. So like yeah. I, all, I kept on trying and trying. All right, damn, I gotta come up with something else. Yeah. Cause like. They're going to try to get away as possible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, the person that's recording me. So how I would do it was I'll do it like this. Like, I'll, let's say you and your girl are on public, right? Uh-huh. And let's say one of y'all cheated. And I walk up to y'all. I'll be like, hey, I'm trying to get an interview. I'll say, yeah. And then my cameraman being slow. Because why, why, why would I try to, like, interview? I'll try to be quick as possible because they, they're trying to run away. Yeah. Like, you could be like, oh, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah. I have, I have multiple be like, oh, no. Nah. I had multiple like walk out on an interview. Yeah. Like, oh, nah, I ain't doing that shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like people be knowing. So I'll be, I'll be lying. Like I'll be like, hey, it's like a college presentation or something. But then they'll be like, oh, no, nah, ain't no college presentation. You know like, what I'm yeah, saying? Nigga, you ain't doing no college yeah, that's presentation. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So I'll be trying to figure out different ways to go around it. Cause like yeah. my content is more of, you see all the fun content out there. Uh-huh. And it's like asking silly questions. My content come with like like heartbreaking life in it, like you know what I'm saying, like Low key. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You gotta think about how deep yeah. that shit like can cause, like you know what I'm saying, like it cause like depression. That shit can cause hell of shit. How much of that shit is real? It's a hundred percent, hundred percent real, hundred percent real. Because I know like there is a lot of people that do do like those yeah. type of things yeah. and like. They they kind of fake some of them, you know what I'm saying, yeah, and like or or some of them they're not even necessarily all the way fake, but like they do they'll tell them some, they'll like, fake some parts of it, or some videos might be mm-hmm. real, but some might be fake. Mm-hmm. Is, is all yours 100 percent real? 100 percent real. That's, That's why I'm saying. trying to like separate myself from other people because yeah. if mine was like 100 like fake, yeah, and I don't know what people already want to see, yeah. So I would like try my best. Okay, hey, do this, do this. And try to like have the person like act like they cheating or something, yeah. Because that's what go viral, yeah. Versus a more real, authentic, yeah. Like you know, energy like you will feel you will feel it through the phone type yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Other than just faking some shit, like you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because you could you could feel like if you watch my videos, you you, you could feel like a pause, like you could feel like the energy, you'd be like damn, bro, yeah. really getting heartbroken. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but like most of them know. I seen like a couple like out in public, and what's crazy was I had one that like I get he 
I don't know if they was like really together, uh-huh. but they look like look dude looked like he was like the sugar daddy to the girl. So uh-huh. he was like, "Oh, I've been wearing eight years." Went through the phone and she deleted like a DM, you know what I'm saying? So boom, that happened. And everybody, okay, so I'm gonna ask something to that. Every every video that went viral, or I catch somebody cheating, they text me. They're like, "Hey, delete the video," but I'll never open. I don't respond back. Yeah, hey, you already got stuff out there. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, cause yeah. like, why would I delete a video? If people already saved. Yeah, it's like no point of that. Yeah. So hey, if you if you get caught, you get caught. Shit, you're lost. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? What is the worst thing, or what's like one of the craziest things that has happened to you as a result of one of those videos? Like, yeah, have you ever had a dude, like, try to fight you or something? Try to uh, square that? Not really. Uh, yeah. Some people really be thanking me, like, you know, the real man should thank me, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Or the girl, vice versa. Um, I had one that I interviewed, like, at a party, and they was, the girl was cheating on a dude with the party owner. So what's crazy was I was at this party, I think it was, like, probably, like, 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Yeah. I'm up there to turn, and then I interview him. I was by myself, I was recording, you know, say if you go to my page, you probably see it. Uh-huh. I was on the bed and shit. And then the girl got caught cheating because there's a little new feature on that Apple where you can check recently deleted. Uh-huh. Like if somebody deletes some messages on iMessage, yeah. you can go see it. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? Press edit, recently deleted, they go to sauce right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, so, the sauce but, for all y'all. The sauce right, right there, man. Yeah. You're trying to check some. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that happened. Next thing you know, the dude started tripping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he just went to the living room. I said, hey, bro, you good? He said, get the fuck away from him. I'm like, fuck, fuck I do. I was trying to, like, see if y'all, like, good or not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, boom, that happened. And I, they said, oh, you got to leave. So, I left the party. And what's crazy was, bro, I go to a function, right? Uh-huh. Boom, I go to a function. I, they still together. So, I'm like, okay. So, I hope y'all good. I hope y'all got this situated. Yeah. This nigga was like sitting down at the bar, and the party owner was right behind his girl holding on to her. And he just like, he didn't act like he ain't seen nothing. And I tried to dab him up. He said, Get the fuck away from me. I'm like, Bro, what the fuck? I'm like, What the fuck I do? I'm trying to help you out. You know what I'm saying? It's like you, like, like it's like me interviewing you and your girl. Yeah. And you get mad at me. Yeah. You can't get, bro, if. Listen, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this, bro. Anybody cheating in your relationship, bro, you can never get mad at the person they cheated with. You should get mad at the person that you was with. You know what I'm saying? Because, honestly, what's the person got to do with what yeah. what happened? Your loyalty yeah. with that person. Your loyalty right. ain't with the like the other person. You know what I'm saying? Unless that's yeah. a homeboy or some shit. A yeah. homegirl. Yeah. But, like, you know what I'm saying? You should never get mad at the person they cheated with. You know what I'm saying? Get mad Facts. at the bitch or nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> huh? What'd you say? Were they white? Nah. They weren't white? Oh, they was white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you funny as so. <laughs> hell. I, <was, laughs> I was confused for a second. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So, out of all those different video ideas that you've done, which one do you think has performed the best? Was it, do you think it's been like the relationship test ones or like the truth or dares or? I say it's most definitely the relationships. You know? Yeah. The relationships definitely had got like. Me in the public eye for sure. Yeah. Uh, had like multiple like big creators hit me up like Supreme Patty, Phase Clan. Yeah. But what's crazy was right when they hit me up, I got shot. Damn. So, like, well, what were they hitting you up about? Like just There's telling like, collabs, you like, oh really? Collabs. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So if I didn't go to Dallas, I'd probably be somewhere different right now. But yeah, hey, I, I ain't regretting nothing. You know, I just appreciate life how it is going right now. So did that shooting? Come. Did that kind of slow you down a lot? Like did it make you stop doing content for a while or? <sighs> I say yeah a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But hey yeah. man, we're getting back in tune, staying yeah. back consistent, you know what I'm saying? We're just being very precise, you know, yeah. how I do shit now, you know? For sure. For sure. <laughs> it got to be though. Man. Yeah, so I'm be. saying that's what anything though, for sure. Yeah. So which idea of those videos do you think was like the worst? The relationship videos? No, of just like all the different type of videos that you've tried, like which one is like, yeah, I ain't never doing that shit again. Um that's a good question. Um, I don't really think I got none that really did worse. Yeah, none of them really. that you just didn't like doing them, or that you just like. Uh, nah, I really, I, I really like. I like talking to people. Yeah, and I like mm-hmm. you know interviewing people. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, you never know what you're gonna get. You know what I'm saying? Every yeah. person is a different reaction. Right. 
So I saw in one video as well where you were like messing with your mom, like where you had like the condom, you grabbed the condom and stuff. Oh yeah, I made that when I was probably like 16, 15. What's your mom like? Is she like real supportive of you and all this stuff? Oh or? yeah, my mom's very supportive. Man. Yeah. Shout out to my mom. She got yeah. me like a little uh little mic and shit. She she yeah. be supportive for sure. Is that who is that who raised you solely or Yeah, my my mom raised me solely. Uh mm -hmm. I grew up with a dad. My dad died before I was born and okay. shit. Yeah, yeah. So I never like grew up with like a father figure. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I grew up on base with my mom around and shit. Do you know how he passed? Yeah, he got shot and killed. Really? Yeah. Was he like... He was in with, the streets. He was in the streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was just making you. money and, yeah. you know, niggas be hating and shit. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. Be like that sometimes. That's, mm -hmm. that's unfortunate, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you are good. You are good. Yeah, my dad passed whenever I was 12. Mm -hmm. Um due to like cancer and stuff mm -hmm. but still kind of like the same well he wasn't really in the streets but he just wasn't really like present i feel like it would um, definitely hurt more if they hear it and they're not here with you if yeah that makes sense before you was born yeah if you are born yeah because like, you never really you know, know what i'm saying you, know what you what never saying, so. it wouldn't be like the feeling like like you know what I'm, saying? I'm pretty sure your dad was there for you and shit no he wasn't no yeah that's what i was just oh, saying sure, he wasn't sure. present yeah okay, so okay, okay. like it means it, it hurts more now than it did then. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, then I literally remember being at the funeral and being like, I'm supposed to cry. Mm -hmm. So let me try to, like, get a tear. You know, like, mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be crying. Like, people are going to be looking at me thinking, like, why isn't he crying? Mm -hmm. Like, so I, like, damn near forced myself to have a tear. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just so I could, like, fit in. You know what I'm saying? If you if you will. But mm -hmm. it hurts more now. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I've, I feel like I've had a, I got a closer connection to him now. Mm -hmm. than I did then like do you feel like you have a connection with your dad at all like even though you've never really met him you never really knew him I must definitely feel like yeah. my dad is like the angel yeah guardian angel over that's what's up sure. hell you yeah that's what's up I definitely been in hell situations you know what yeah I'm and then uh, I'm here you know what I'm saying so I feel like he definitely played like a huge part in my yeah. life yeah yeah so, so like with your mom and stuff like just was she always like supportive of you and like yeah most definitely my yeah. mom's definitely been supportive mm -hmm. uh you know what I'm saying? But I was, like, hot back then, like, doing the stupid yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And she would get on my ass. But, you know, when you doing stupid shit and you try to tell somebody something, it go through one ear and out the other. Like, nobody really be listening for Facts. Real. You know Facts. what I'm saying? So if anybody's doing stupid, I hate to say it, but they're going to have to learn how they learn. You know what I'm saying? They're going to yeah. have to fix themselves because you really can't change nobody. Nah. Unless they want to change Unless they want to change, You know yeah. what I'm saying? Unless they want to change. You can tell anybody. It's like the uh, the saying, like when you, you can lead the horse to the water, we can't make, can't a, drink make a drink. It, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, for sure. And that's real too, bro. Cause like I I've been in that situation, you know, mm -hmm. where like I just you know what I'm saying? Like I I need a change, you know what I'm saying? But like mm -hmm. at the end of the day, like I don't really want to, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And that's that's real, bro. Like because so many people are saying that, you know what I'm saying? So many people claim that they want change or they want better for themselves, but they don't do, it. But they don't do nothing, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And it's like, you don't really want... It's easy to talk, but hard to put into work. Yeah, facts. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, man, like, talk about some of the struggles that you faced mm -hmm. putting in the work. It's, uh... So, when I first started, like, doing... When I started doing content and shit, God, like I said, I was rapping and shit, Yeah. but then I was just like, I'm gonna do something else, but like, I, I'm gonna have some music drop the more I get bigger, like on social media, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying. But what should I call it? I was like stuttering and shit. Like mm -hmm. I was in high school interviewing people, and like going to the mall, and I was like 17. And all mm -hmm. the interviews I did, I would never drop them, and I just like would just record and record and record. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it could help me dropping them. But it also helped me just improving myself, mm -hmm. having better interactions with people mm -hmm. yeah. and have a better like communication with people. For sure. Knowing what to say, knowing what to do, knowing how to act. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because when you first try something, you're not going to be the best at it. You know what I'm right, saying? You definitely right. have to be the, you know, keep putting that work yeah. in. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. for example, with your podcast, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Like, when you first start, the guy, you know get the questions but you probably don't know what questions to ask you know what i'm saying yeah you know as you get more into it then you're gonna know what questions get a little to bit ask, better things what to flow touch a little on bit. yeah you know what i'm saying how to get there how to get there you know what right I'm saying? so definitely like you know being being consistent definitely plays a big part in like what mm -hmm. anything you do in life for sure yeah and i was i think that was one of the biggest things i, I faced challenge or one of the biggest challenges i faced too was just mm -hmm. staying consistent you know mm -hmm. like you get on a good on a good like tangent where you're posting you know for two or three weeks and mm -hmm. then like you kind of just get lazy. Mm -hmm. You don't post for two weeks. Mm -hmm. Now you're out of the algorithm. Now you got to start all over. 
Exactly. And, you know, so so it's finally like gotten to the point now where like I'm starting to get into a better rhythm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting more consistent, more efficient. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, just more trial and error. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Of going on, and then you you learn. You know what I'm saying? As things go, as time goes, mm-hmm. and it kind of helps you and stuff. So most definitely, yeah. So uh, I see you be rocking a lot of designer, man. You be designer? you be fucking with the designer and shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, I be rocking. What's designer, your favorite man? brand? I really got one. You ain't got a I favorite. Like Louis. Yeah, Louis, Louis hard. You know what I'm saying? But I'm all about supporting brands. Yeah. Especially local brands. Yeah. What's some local brands that you be fucking with? Uh, I rock like some Dear Lover. Okay, I've know, seen Dear yeah, Lover. Dear yeah. Lover hard. That shit's hard. Shout yeah. Out to Coach. Um, and I'll. I wear this one brand called Fallout Angels. Uh-huh. Yeah. De- I don't uh, think I've heard yeah, that, that shit hard, too. Uh-huh. You know, like, businesses are just starting up, you know what I'm saying? Because there's yeah. a lot of talent when people just starting up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, For sure. facts. You know what I'm saying? Do you like Hellstar? I don't know what that is. You ain't never heard of Hellstar? Yeah, put me on that. Damn, Hellstar is, is hard. Bro. Yeah, it should, it's like a it's kind of a newer brand that's, it's, uh, that's getting, like, a lot of traction right now, mm-hmm. blowing up. You know, like, Home Film, right? Was you never heard of Home Film either? Nah. Damn, bro, you got to get on with Home Film and yeah, Hellstar, bro. Man, I gotta, like, yeah, bro, both of research. them black owned brands. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and that shit hard, bro. Shit like, hard. I mean, they're both like bigger brands. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Like, I mean, they're to the point both where like a lot of rappers and stuff. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Are starting to fuck with them. And mm-hmm. Home Film is a lot of people have been fuck with them. They the one that did like the the. I think it's like the is West Side or whatever. Like bro. fingers, like the big mm-hmm. finger T. You mm-hmm. ain't seen that shit. The West Side shit? It's, I don't know. It's like, and it says hum. It's, it looks like H O M M E. Damn. I don't think I have. Bro. Damn, bro. I, I'm have, so surprised. I'm more of a person, like, if I ain't on the song, but if I know it's something, I have to see it to know it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, here, I'll show you a picture real All right, quick. Bro, let, me see. let me show you a picture. All right, bro. Bro, bro this so. shit's hard, though, but both of them are, like, black owned brands. You got your own, like, uh, merch clothing brand? brand? Yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm about, I'm tr- I'm thinking of it though. I want to kind of get like some shirts well, and stuff, like some EHJ shit. I mean, you know? for sure. get but the thing is, is the park, man, for sure. One thing about me is like I don't want to fucking put shit out that I wouldn't wear myself. That's what I'm saying. And I don't want to wear no plain ass shit that just says mm-hmm. EHJ. You when know what I mean? Think like, about it though. I need to start my clothing brand myself. But when you think about it, you gotta have. Hey, what's wrong? I like that shit. They got a lot of different shit, but I mean, I that mean. shit is hard. But yeah, what's I was saying, uh, like when you when you create a clothing brand, you got like if you trying to go big, like with the clothing brand, like big, big. Yeah. You are gonna have to probably get something that you don't like because you don't know if the other person will like it. For sure, you for know sure, what I'm definitely, most definitely. A lot That's of Hellstar. We do got like different damn sure. Yeah, hell, of people definitely got like different tastes and shit. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? I probably have different taste than you. You probably got different taste than me. You know yeah, what I'm and I, I feel that too. But I'm just like, I, I just want to make sure it's gonna be a good quality. Oh yeah, most you know definitely, what I'm saying? It's gonna definitely. be some cool designs. You but know what I, I'm saying? But it's like, you know, what I'm saying, I feel like it really ain't too hard to get tapped in, like with the generation now, because like, you know, yeah. I, I feel like every like clothing brand got like a similar look, not similar, but Type it's just shit. like like a rock star, like stylish look, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And most definitely, yeah. So for sure, you just gotta get that u- little unique look. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean. all you gotta take like feedback on the look, you know what I'm saying? And boom, you got it. Well shit, man, as we get kind of closer here to the end of this pod here, bro, uh-huh. you gonna bust this freestyle for me or what, bro? We gonna, we gonna get a little snippet from Young KT or what, bro? Sure we can. Sure. All right, man, I'm gonna throw you a beat. You gonna go, bro? <laughs> I'm gonna throw you a beat, bro. I can throw a beat, bro. I know how to beatbox, bro. All right, let's do it. You ready? Yeah. All right. All right, here I'll we go. I'll spit a little few bars. Yo. I'm chilling. Got on a jacket. Niggas hating. While I'm laughing. Getting money. I'm trying to stack it. Get from the back. Trying to get that back end. Hey, you know that I'm going to be their back end. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right. All right, all right. Real, man. I don't know how to beatbox, though. I need a beat, bro. <laughs> you really don't know how to be box. Damn. So you can rap on that guitar. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, I guess I'll go a cappella. Damn. Uh, Alright. Uh, uh should I bring Jay Breezy back? 
Jay Breezy. Jay Breezy, uh. going off the dome. You know how I do it. I don't even need the chrome. Uh. You know what it is. I'm just trying to take her home. Uh. But wait, no, because I got a little girl. You know uh. that. She, my whole world, and she look at me crazy. She going to want to face me. You hey. already know it. She going <laughs> to hit me, make me daisy. Uh. <laughs> nah, <I'm playing. laughs> <Yo. laughs> oh, man. Nah, bro. Hey. But anyways, man. Coming up here, man, what, what can the people expect to see next from KT, from, from Chris Thompson, you know what I'm Definitely saying? Definitely more content and a lot of big things very coming here soon. I'm yeah. more of a person, you know, you're going to have to sit, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't want to say a lot, you know, because if I say a lot, it don't hold me to it. So I say big things coming soon. Y'all going to see it. All right, I'm going to hold you to that then, man. <laughs> big things coming soon, bro. I better see some big things yeah, then, bro. For sure, for sure. All right, y'all heard it here first. Big Ain't things no boss, coming man. soon, Ain't man. No hey, bro, I appreciate you for driving down here, man. Oh, Usually yeah. I do film in Tulsa, yeah. but it's just the way it worked no, out. I got some good, other man. pods tomorrow here in Oklahoma City, so went, sure. I appreciate you for pulling up Most on us today, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I appreciate you guys for watching, for tuning in, yes, sir, for hitting that subscribe button. Make sure that you guys go check out the pod on all platforms. Make sure that you guys tune in. Make sure that you guys hit up heat for your feet whenever you guys are down here down in Norman. Man, man. We appreciate y'all. We appreciate, appreciate you, you, bro. Thank you. Y'all man. have a good appreciate one. Appreciate you, man. You already know. Everybody, hey, Jabber, we out, guys. <laughs> yes, sir.